marked first another day of drivers across South Florida running on empty. Tonight, a half million more gallons of fuel is headed our way. Let's get right to Local 10's Roy Ramos live with our top story. Roy. Nicole and Calvin, well, the good news here is with each day that passes, things do get a little better. In fact, here at the port, officials tell me now eight of the 12 terminals are operational, meaning more than three and a half million gallons of fuel are being distributed from this location. This, as the Florida Division of Emergency Management has also distributed 500,000 gallons of fuel to South Florida. So I've been here for 45 minutes. I've been driving around trying to find a gas station. The frustration setting in for drivers as the search for gas continues. Many finding themselves either in long lines or arriving to gas stations with bag pumps. And for those lucky enough to find a station with fuel, just as they pull up, they hear this. No, there's no more gas. All the pumps are turned off. No more gas. Officials say it's not a shortage of fuel. In fact, there's plenty of it. The issue is distribution. It's a supply chain issue. It's a disruption. Port Everglades, like many others, hit hard by the one in 1,000 year storm that port officials said damaged several fuel pumps of the 12 private companies that operate there. For close to 36 hours, the 1,200 trucks that transport fuel from the port daily were halted because of that storm. Overnight, crews able to make repairs to much of the pumps with more petroleum companies now operating. But with a major setback, there are still delays transporting the gas to stations across the four South Florida counties. This entire situation has unveiled a bit of a vulnerability with the port. Mm -hmm. What's being done in the future to stop this from happening again? It's up to the terminals themselves to make the investments that are going to be necessary, whether they're looking at different types of pumps or different locations for, for pumps. All of us will be going through an after-action report after this to see what we learned and see ultimately how we can, how we can improve. And one of the things discussed by the mayor yesterday is possibly elevating these pumps to stop them from being damaged in the future by those extreme floods like the ones we experienced last week. For now here at Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.